State Department has just added seven Islamic extremist terrorist groups to the U.S. list of terrorists, including ISIS Philippines. As we told you when we visited the Philippines last year, ISIS is a growing force there with the intent of establishing an independent state or caliphate in Southeast Asia. By the Congress. We were there when the Philippine Congress extended martial law in the troubled Mindanao region of the southern Philippines. Philippine military officials recently warned that ISIS has built a force of fighters there where we also visited in a continuing fight by Islamic extremists to establish an independent state or caliphate that can stage terror attacks throughout Southeast Asia. We're invited to board military fast boats accompanied by heavily armed commandos. It's the safest way to see the worst areas. Our guide is a hero in this long-standing war against Islamic extremist terrorists, General Lito Sobihana. He heads up a joint task force of the Philippine military. The battle actually goes back decades. That island is the island province of uh, Basilan. Uh, I was stationed there uh, in the 90s and uh, I was even uh, wounded uh, in that island. Uh, seriously wounded because I had uh, five gunshot wounds all over my body and several uh, sharp. Fighting Abu Sayyaf. Fighting is uh, Abu Sayyaf. Abu Sayyaf is considered one of the most violent Islamic jihadist groups responsible for the Philippines' worst terrorist attack, the 2004 bombing of a ferry that murdered 116 people. Sobahana received the Philippine Medal of Honor for his heroics in fighting Abu Sayyaf in the 90s. Two decades later, Abu Sayyaf is now said to be lining up with ISIS, prompting some to make the argument that Islamic extremism in the Philippines deserves more of the world's attention. We are now in the middle of the two islands of Santa Cruz. This is, uh, these islands are part of Zamboanga. And, uh, from... Earlier, we spoke with General Sobihana at Camp Navarro, headquarters of the Western Mindanao Command. Could you explain in just a sentence or two to the American audience what the fighting is about? Well, initially, they followed the ideology of uh, establishing uh, Islamic independence in, in Mindanao. The vast majority of Filipinos are Christian. Most of the Muslims live in the south. Here in the troubled Mindanao province, one in five residents is Muslim, according to the 2000 census. ISIS didn't pioneer the notion of violently establishing an international Islamic state or caliphate. Muslim extremists in Mindanao have been conducting a terrorist campaign for an independent Islamic state since the 1970s. We've had uh, reports and information coming in that there's been foreign fighters uh, from Saudi, from Yemen, et cetera, uh, down in, in Mindanao for four years now. Gene Yu is a former Green Beret with U.S. Special Forces supporting Philippine troops fighting the terrorists. He now helps run a private security firm here. He says with ISIS losing its footing in Iraq and Syria, seasoned fighters fleeing the Mideast are now showing up in the Philippines where there are many sympathizers. These guys are battle-hardened uh, fighters or terrorists that have survived essentially the war going head-to-head -head with Western military and special operations. These people are not dumb, okay? They're not incompetent fighters, right? To survive that long, only the best guys have survived that long. In May, fighting escalated when hundreds of terrorists attacked the Philippine army in the region's island city of Marawi, population 200,000. Civilians were taken hostage, thousands fled. Nearly the entire city was later evacuated. After months of fighting, 400 terrorists were dead. So were more than 100 civilians and Philippine troops. After the latest siege in Marawi, the Philippines has requested additional support from America in its ongoing fight against Islamic extremists. Last November, while visiting Manila, President Trump pledged $14.3 million in U.S. aid for the reconstruction of Marawi. Meantime, General Sobihana continues in his third decade of fighting a familiar and brutal enemy. We've talked to some observers who really want this to obviously get under control because they fear people like the Islamic State and other extremists could see this as an opening uh, this region to come in and spread more ideologically based violence here. Yeah. Um, do you worry about that happening? Well, uh, I think uh, 
there are indicators that they are here already. Should we be worried about that? Well, I think uh, we should uh, do something uh, about it so that the, their number will not uh, uh, become large. America is supporting the Philippines' fight against Islamic extremist terrorism. In the past eight years, we've supplied them with more than $85 million in equipment for counterterrorism and $65 million to help with security at sea.